In today's video, I'll show you how to use the new DirectX 12 feature in Apex Legends Season 15. If you don't know what DirectX 12 is, it's an API that's used to communicate between the computer's main processor, which is your CPU and your graphics card, which makes a key part of graphics rendering system. Apex Legends has been using DX11 since launch, and this new evolution to an updated API brings exciting opportunities for the future of Apex Legends. So basically, how you want to enable it is in steam you right click on apex you go to properties and then you add the eac launcher settings that is you put that into your launch options i'll put that down below in the uh description and after you do that you can launch apex but if you go to before you do that you can go to browse local files and now you see there's a new apex r5 apex dx12 so basically you want to right click on that for if you want to get low input lag. Go to compatibility, go to change high DPI settings, click on override high DPI scanning behavior, and make it application, press OK, press OK, open Apex Legends. Typically it, you'll know how if it works or not based on um on the bottom right once you load it, it'll say direct X12 beta. Now, if sometimes for your first launch, you'll compile shaders. That's a known issue that they are trying to work on. But yeah, if you look here at the bottom right, it says DirectX 12 Beta. It will help out with more consistent FPS and higher FPS on more newer systems with newer graphics cards. I want to thank Scrawl Rindo for the information here on Twitter. Now, um, some of the benefits is it'll allow games to distribute CPU graphics code across multiple cores, which will result in higher frame rate, higher fidelity visuals, since Apex has a lot of great art and stunning graphics, gave more headroom and stuff, it'll bring new visual features and optimizations. And I'll just give you a, a overall better experience. Now there are some known issues of shader compilation. Sometimes it takes longer to load. And it'll use higher GPU memory. And if you are recording, some desktop recording software is including OBS and NVIDIA G4 experience can encounter some capturing game window issues when running DX12. So basically to work around that, if you have problems try record, tr trying to record a stream, try switching your source and OBS from window capture to game capture or display capture or selecting enable full desktop capture and your first experience as you see here i mean i got a great system so my fps isn't gonna you know if fx caps it at 300 no matter what but normally yeah, i get way lower not way lower fps but it stutters a lot and it's not always a consistent 300 FPS like you can see here. And if you want to remove uh, DX12, all you gotta do is go back to the same spot and just remove this code line. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.